Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create split chevron diagram in PowerPoint. The split chevron diagram you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to split a chevron diagram into multiple parts. I'll show you how to divide it into three parts. You can use the same technique to divide the chevron into two parts, four parts, etc. Let us go to a new slide and learn how to create split chevron diagram. The first step is to go to home and under auto shapes menu, pick up this option called as chevron, which is under block arrows. So click on it and draw a chevron. If you find that the width is not adequate, you can always pull this yellow handle to the right so you can have a lot of space to write your text here in the chevron. Now we are going to divide this chevron into three equal parts. How do we know that the parts are equal? It's very simple. First, we are not going to uh, use a rectangle. First, we are going to use just a line. So I'm going to hold the shift so that you get a straight line and the first line touches the top edge of the chevron. Now all we need is to create three more lines here. So I'm going to uh, press Ctrl C which copies and then press Ctrl V 1, 2, 3. Now I'm going to put the last line to touch the bottom edge of the chevron. Now. I am going to select all the lines, make sure that you don't select the chevron and go to arrange, align and distribute vertically. Now you can be sure that these divisions are equal and the chevron is equally divided into three. Now we have the markers available. The next step is to draw a rectangle that corresponds with these two, uh, that, that aligns with this gap. So let me go to rectangles and take the simple rectangle and make sure that the rectangle falls exactly along the two lines. Now copy this rectangle, Control C and Control V two times. Now all you need to do is to place these rectangles here. So good enough. Now we have these rectangles. We are going to push this back. So send to back after right clicking and we don't need these lines anymore. So I'm going to remove these lines. Good. Now the next step is to click on this one and press Ctrl C so that you are able to move this to the clipboard. This is very essential because you are going to paste this chevron back in the same place over and over again and that is the reason why you need to copy this to your clipboard. So I have done that already. Now the next step is to click on the chevron and click on the top rectangle, go to format and under merge shapes go to this one called as intersect shapes. If you are using PowerPoint 2010 version, you have the intersection available. You can always uh, put all those relevant uh, commands on the quick access toolbar. You can find another tutorial where I show you how exactly to uh, create quick access toolbar with the shape union, shape subtract tools, etc. Now for PowerPoint 2013, you have this option available under format merge shapes. I have done that for the first one. Now we don't have the chevron available because when you see here, there is no such chevron. So I'm going to press Ctrl V again. This brings back the chevron that is there in the clipboard. Now I'm going to select the chevron here and the next rectangle, go to merge shapes and intersect. Again, Ctrl V, which brings back the chevron in the clipboard. Click on this, click on the last rectangle, go to merge shapes and intersect. There you see you have a chevron with three equal splits. Now you can do the same to
to have a two split chevron four split chevron five split chevron how much ever you want and that is how we created this wonderful diagram incidentally this diagram is part of our powerpoint ceo pack templates let me show you some more ways in which you can use chevron i'm going to use the example templates taken from our powerpoint ceo packs to show you the application this is an application of chevron you can see here the value chain created using the same technique that you have just learned and all these are individual shapes and all they have they have been uh created by splitting a pentagon shape into these individual components let me show you another example of using chevron and this one shows a linear process with five steps and each step is explained with three text boxes another example is this complex process flow where we show chevrons coming in all direction to show a lengthy process and all of them have been created using the merge shapes option in powerpoint 2013 or powerpoint 2010 option so if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics and complicated looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at our off the shelf solutions like our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 The two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and business presenters. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text. Your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating split chevron in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are tons of useful articles, videos and tutorials to help you improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.